This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Oh my god. Hey sexy, it's me, Huey Highlight. Oh my god. I'm here for Manscaped because James Mansfield couldn't show up today. She's fugly and I love that. Manscaped is the leading in men's grooming and I love men. Oh my god. Manscaped has the perfect package. We can get all these goodies like the Lawnmower 3.0, skin safe technology. You can even use it in the shower. That's right, it's waterproof diva. That's sexy. As well as super comfortable Manscaped boxers. You can't see them pictured here because, well, I'm wearing them, diva. But don't take my word for it. I'm only an influential influencer who knows everything about everything. So you should totally use Manscaped because my word matters, diva. Use code JAMES20 to save 20% off on the perfect package. Oh my god, I love my packages perfect. With the perfect package, you also get the crop preserver and the crop reviver. That's right, ball deodorant. And the shed. Ooh, I love your shed. Get your Manscaped today. It's the leading in men's grooming products. Be sexy. Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, I am going to do a very special wig recreation. Yes, I want to do a wig inspired by Ariana Grande in her 3435 music video. <laughs> And in case you guys don't know, I actually received a lot of popularity on TikTok. That's right. I am an influencer on TikTok now, you guys. Follow me, at James Mansfield. <laughs> I had a little video kind of blow up on there. Oh, my God. Not really a whole lot, but it got a lot of views, okay? So just, just give this to me, okay? This doesn't happen to me very often, all right? So I'm going to link it right here. Actually, let's just show you it right now. This is what it was. This is what it was. <laughs> Can you have sex with me? Can you have sex with me? Can we have some sex? Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, so the Arianators did not appreciate this. I got a lot of Ariana Grande hate. It was completely in good taste. I don't hate Ariana Grande. I actually really live for her. It's just, you know, we're having a bit of fun. We're having the jokes, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's a parody for Christ's sake. Anyways, I decided I'm gonna turn lemons into lemonade and make a fabulous Ariana Grande inspired hairstyle. So let's get started. Let me just whip over my wig head right here using magic or just a transition. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now I have one wig pinned onto the block and as you can tell, she is not the same hair texture as it was in the video. So what I'm gonna do here is straighten it a little bit because I gotta pull it up into a ponytail. I'm gonna straighten the entire wig because the curls might actually help give us some volume so I won't have to do a bump but we need to at least get the curls out of this section here so I can slick it back. Now, using trusty old steamer, I'm just gonna brush through the top of this first to get these curls out. Cause yeah, there's still like a wave, a body wave like right, happening right here. When I start to slick it back, it might fight against the hairspray. So I don't want that. So, get my steamer going. There we go, yes, all right. Just steam it straight. I'm only gonna do it to about the midsection of it because the rest is all gonna get tied back into a ponytail. Almost there. Now, I gotta do a French twist on this wig as well, like a French twist updo, and I've showed you all how to do that before. I'll link my Selena video where I go into depth about how I do it because it is a pain in the ass to do. I have to like stand up and uh, braid it and everything. It's better you just watch that video because you get the full, full idea of what I do. So I'm gonna French twist this and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Now I did a French braid updo. I showed you how to do that in my Selena video. I'll link that down below. And as for the bangs, I've showed you how to do bangs before too. You do a small triangle bite in the front of the hairline. And that's what I did. I'm gonna pull those downward and I just pull everything back up into a ponytail. It's really basic stuff. Now, I'm gonna take the ends of this and I'm going to just pack it like that because this is gonna be our base for our stuffing. Yes, it's gonna be Basically the stuff we use to vo add volume to our wig because we don't have to do a whole lot of teasing to the wig that's gonna go on top of it to achieve what Ariana had. I'm just doing a little bit for a drag version. I'm gonna take the hairnet that came with it. And if you wanna make it even less heavy, you just, you know, cut the hair a bit. That is also an option. And if you don't feel like doing all that, you can straighten the whole wig out and add a curl at the bottom and do a very, very, you know, basic small version of it. But I don't do basic on this channel. Okay. We're gonna overdo it because that's just what we do. That's drag. All right, that is our base, our little bun. Set her right there on top of the head. Now, take some bobby pins and hold that in place. Okay, that is all in place like that. That's how she should look for now. Now for the bangs, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna brush through them some. 
yes, that we can cut them and curl them. Yes. Now she had something like a swoop bang. It's very like 1960s kind of like vibe is what she's going for with this video. So that is what we're going to be channeling today. Like when I was looking at it, it was like a reference of like Brigitte Bardot and like Raquel Welch, like these very, very 60s modular sex symbol kind of hairstyles, which is kind of like really cool. Like I like that, like Brigitte Bardot, those kind of references. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit here and take this, brush it or comb it, doesn't matter. We're gonna roll it and steam it. Take a little green roller because I want to add a little curl to the bottom of it. Angle it going downward because I don't want it flaring up. Tilt it a little bit to the side because I want it to tilt to the side as well. It's so like that. Oh, steamer's right here. <laughs> okay. There we go. I almost steam myself in the face. That's happened a couple times, my goodness. Just steam that up and steam down that too, why not? really set it. I saw a girl do this in a cosplay video and I'm going to see if it works. Oh yeah, that does work. That's cool. Tame down those flyaways. She kind of looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, like, you know, on the go in town. <laughs> Running errands with her little messy bun. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to do the little bouffant stacker while wow, this dries. So I'm going to take our little hair piece and it is just another wig. I already pre-curled this. She's in a nice wavy set with purple rollers. Just the basic, you know, romantic 1950s wave sets. Everything is falling, oh my gosh. Put her on top. Okay. Let me just consult my image. I believe she had like a little tie in the center of it. Yes, she did, okay. So we're gonna have to mimic that as well. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut off the hairline on this wiglet. I have to say, like, I thought this video was so, so cute. And there's so many different references she was making with this video, but mostly it was all dwelling in like 1960s inspired sex symbols, which is very much my thing. I love that. Like Brigitte Bardot, Raquel Welch, you know, and God Created Woman, all those great movies of like these sex sirens just being so bad. Like, what was that one with Raquel Welch where she played the devil? Bedazzled, bedazzled, that was the one. Oh no, that was Elizabeth Hurley. Were those the same movies? I can't remember. <laughs> a lot of Raquel Welch movies kind of all blend together. Not gonna lie to ya. Okay, pull her to the side because we may come back to her. We have our wiglet. What we're gonna do is take a brush and brush out any strays that got cut. Throw her on top like so. And like I said, we're not gonna do a whole lot of teasing to this because the style already has a lot of volume in it. It just depends on how draggy you want to get with that. Like if you want it super draggy, then tease the whole mother out, you know? But if you want more close to life how she had it, it's just a little bit of teasing. We're also going to do is add a, a piece of hair over here to disguise the joint so it looks like it's an actual ponytail. We're gonna do some lying with hair. <laughs> We're lying today, yes. What matters about this hairstyle is that it's going to go down and flip up like that. So the curl pattern is good because it ends about right there anyway. So we just have to get our teasing done. So I have to do a little bit of teasing. <laughs> Yeah, these things always get me thinking of like Austin Powers. It's just like what she was referencing in the video, those 1960s movies like Emma Peel, you know, in like Flint with the really, really gorgeous like 60s models playing, you know, femme fatales. Oh, I used to love those movies, my God. Or was the one with, um, what's his name? Oh, the, the crooner, oh, Dean Martin. He had a couple of movies like that and they had like Sharon Tate in them where they're just super, super stylish. Like the sets on those movies are to die for. Like gorgeous, gorgeous women inside of them and these beautiful, like lush Technicolor sets. The plots of the movie aren't that great. <laughs> and they're a bit, I wouldn't say they're a bit, they're very, very misogynistic. But just like the visuals is something to take away. All right, now I'm gonna tease the rest of this off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am packing the teasing to the base of the back of the ponytail because I want it to like stick straight up. And if you brush it without this, it's going to like slide to the sides and you have like a really droopy ponytail. So you want to make sure the volume is just locked in there tight. We don't want droopy ponytails. Okay, 
now I feel like there's a nice solid tease there. It's almost like rooting a hairline on like the ponytail. <laughs> I feel like that should be good. Now we can start smoothing it. Like I always say, like it's gonna be a messy process before you get to a nice clean finish. And part of it is just smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. And we're gonna achieve that curly like flip on the bottom after we're already done smoothing here because we gotta brush through here and then cut it. That's the one downside about doing like 60s hairstyles. Even those simple things can be so time consuming. Like when the girls in the 60s and you see movies of them getting their hair done, like the men are complaining they take hours. It's not, not a joke. Like it did take a long time to get your hair done back then. A lot went into it that you just do not see. I'm always in awe of like those women, like those like 60s women. You see like, you know, everyday civilians with like big gigantic falls and beehives and flips on their hair. It's like women wore their hair with hair pieces like that all the time. And it's just such a marvel to think about. Now this video is supposed to be, you know, recreating Ariana Grande hairstyle. And I will say this as an honest person, I don't know a whole lot about Ariana Grande, like, you know, her music career. Like I know the hits, I feel like more of my knowledge is probably based more like, I remember her as like a child star, if that makes any sense. I have nephews, so like, my little nephew used to watch like, I didn't watch Victorious. I think that's what she was on, Victorious. Yeah, she was on Victorious. And I didn't watch Sam and Cat, but I did watch iCarly with him. And Big Time Rush, like we now we're talking, okay? iCarly, fine ass Spencer, the stepbrother, so cute, oh my God. And I don't know how the hell he was maintaining that apartment in Seattle, that gigantic apartment. It's like, I don't know how like a 30 year old man was maintaining that gigantic apartment in that area. No way, girl. <laughs> it like had an attic and everything. And now we're getting to the part where we smoothed out the bottom. Like take a grip and smooth it. Cause like I was well aged out by the time like Ariana Grande was on Nickelodeon. That was not the kids content I watched. I was there for like Keenan and Kel and the Amanda show. Those were my shows. <laughs> Oh, I sound so old. <laughs> My God. Nobody knows about the dancing lobsters. Like, I remember, you know, the early rounds of all that. Back when Amanda Bynes was on it. Ugh, oh, I'm so old. Okay. That's it smooth out so far. We're gonna do some playing around with the bottom here to get the flip up. But we gotta make sure it's all smoothed out first. All right, now I'm gonna keep smoothing. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, now I did one side off camera. This is the goal we're going for, okay? Now, in order to do that, you gotta do a couple things. Now this wig already has a wave pattern in it, but we have that little curl at the end that we want. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my teasing comb, because I only wanna get the surface level, and I'm gonna start to steam it straight, but before I do, I'm gonna use the comb to figure out where the curl is that I wanna keep and where the curls are that I wanna get rid of. So if you look here, there's a wave here that I don't want and a wave that I do. So I'm gonna hold that, glide over it, and just kind of sort of pinch the area like that. And you can keep it with your brush. Take steamer. And just heat away that little wave. Like that. And we're gonna do that all around the wig. Just getting rid of that top wave. The curl underneath is fine because that's gonna add to the volume. We just gotta get rid of that little top wave here in the middle. So that looks like it's slicking all the way back and just curling at the end to give a bubble flip. Now, the second part, we are going to use our scissors and where that curl is, we're gonna trim it a little bit to give it more of a bounce. Using our teasing comb, go through and play around with the bottom. Play with your bottom. Brush it over your wrist like that your fist and it should start to flip up like that. And you just play around with it to make sure it's symmetrical. Like this side's a little longer, so I'm just gonna trim it a little more. But that's essentially what you wanna do. So it's a little more trimming, because it means it's hanging, hanging a little heavier than it should be. You also trim inside like that, because the unevenness is what's gonna help with the curl and the wave. Also, it's like early Bianca Del Rio, like Jackie Cox kind of hair. <laughs> they always do these kind of 60s hairstyles. Now, that is the process so far is to go through and figure out the curl and the flip and the bottom to maintain it. Now, that is part of the process is going through the bottom and curling it up and seeing how much of it you have to trim in order to maintain the shape and also do little bites in between as well. That'll help. So like I said, the unevenness is going to help with the flip. It's 
one of those situations where if the hair is cut unevenly, it only helps you. And the back of a bubble flip is a constant struggle, so don't worry about it, girl. It either will stay or it won't. If you want to sit there for hours and maintain the flip, go on right ahead. Some of us just ain't got that kind of time. Once the back of your neck starts rubbing against it, it's just going to go where it wants to go. You're just going to have to accept that, Mary. All right, I'm going to continue doing this, then we're going to do our bangs. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now the back is looking cute. She is a nice little 60s flip. I'm living. Now let's do our bangs. Let's take that down. We should have a nice little curl going. Uh, nice enough. <laughs> we can only ask for so much, okay? Now, let's run our brush through that. Hers is like flat to the face like that, but I'm gonna give a little more volume, just cause. Just make sure it stays together. Brush it and brush down. Yeah, there we go. Now she's staying together. Brush over the surface. Y'all know I love me a faux bang. Okay, now let's hairspray the out of this, okay? Give it sort of a natural fall. Don't cut your fingers. Brush some mo. Brush some mo. <laughs> she's totally serving like a baby Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> I'm living, okay. More, t more cutting near the tip here. Also, it's recently come to my attention that the kids no longer laugh anymore. They go dead. So that's what I'm gonna do since I'm such a young, hip, you know, person. <laughs> I don't laugh anymore. I'm just gonna go, I'm dead. I'm so, so youthful. Oh my gosh, I'm on TikTok. All right, now we're almost done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little bit of hair that I didn't use, like the lace front part, and I'm just gonna roll it up like that, like so to create a switch. I grip that and grab my brush and just brush through it, bottom to top, just to smooth it out. And what we're gonna do with this switch is we're gonna lie and act like it's a ponytail. Yes. So, get as smooth as possible. Hairspray if you have to, get the flyaways to go away. Brush through your switch. Now I'm gonna take the smoothest part and we're going to put that in the hair like that. And we're gonna pull it behind. And using a zip tie, I'm going to tie it up. This is high risk right here, folks. <laughs> high risk. Oh my God. Oh my God. My, get through there. Get through there. Get through there. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can hear it. I can hear it. Is she turning the party? Is she going to look sickening? Are people going to think I'm Ariana Grande? Yes, they are. There we go. She's in. Oh boy, she's in. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Oh my gosh. Check her out. That is the look. I feel like I did a pretty good job. That looks almost just like it, just a little more draggy. Now I'm gonna do some finishing touches and I'll be right back with our final result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, she is cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am feeling that Austin Powers like 1960s espionage fantasy. I love it. Now I did make a slight change. I did reverse the direction of the bang because, well, I felt like it because it's my channel, not yours. All right, so I feel it looks cuter on this side. That's just my own preference. It's my bangs, my bangs. All right, now this wig is cute, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And I would like to take a moment, a Venmo, and some PayPal monies. I want to thank all of you who tipped me on Venmo and PayPal. I would like to thank Veronica, Marjani, Jay, Basilios, Tara, Sergio, Joe, and Cody. And for PayPal monies. I would like to thank Jay, Jade, and Jem. There, I thanked you again. I keep mispronouncing your name. I'm so sorry, hon. It's Jem. I got it. I got it. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal monies. Now, this book was so much fun to create. It's a bit of work, but not a whole lot. I feel like all that extra work really did pay off. Now, if there's any other hairstyle you want to see, be sure and leave it down below, and I'll take a look at it and see if, you know, I can make it happen for you. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here.
here and watch the James Mansfield Puppet Show, episode three. Or watch me recreate Cardi B's up hairstyle with the dolls. It's so cute. Watch it. Oh, my God. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll accidentally steam your face. It'll totally be an accident, I swear. So click it. <laughs>